Hi, this is Shelby Renhifo from Real Life, a program at the Long Island International Film Expo. I am here right now with Jake Lloyd. Hi, Jake. Hi, how's it going, Shelby? Going very well, thank you. How do you feel being at the Long Island International Film Expo? Uh, I am so happy to be here. I'm happy to be back. Uh, I was actually here four years ago with a short film uh, that was nominated for Best Short that year, and now I'm back with my first feature film. So it seemed only fitting, especially being that I'm a Long Islander. I'm originally from Deer Park live out in Los Angeles now so any chance to come back home to bring a project to show it to the, to the homeland fantastic home folks of Long Island it's always a good time okay great so tell me a little bit about this film that's gonna be here at the festival um, uh, the film is called pinch and it is a uh, indie dramedy that's about these two gentlemen in very different parts of their lives uh, who get the opportunity to own this rare and valuable baseball collectible uh, and they can't quite figure out how to decide who gets it so they opt to play an actual game of baseball for it um, so it's sort of like uh, the, a grown-up sandlot. Uh, so it's these two guys who have no right being on a baseball field sort of assembling their ragtag teams. Uh, and of course the real story is about kind of what's happening in their lives outside of the field. But uh, it's a really, it's a feel-good piece. Um, it took two and a half years to make with no budget and no crew whatsoever. Impressive. Thanks. Okay. Uh, and so it was a real passion project for every uh, definition of that term. So I'm assuming, I mean, I'm just going on a limb here. You're a baseball fan? Um, I am a baseball fan. Yankees or Mets? Um, I'm actually a Yankee, but, you know, uh, don't tell the rest of my family who's from Deer Park. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, of course. Baseball is a very big thing here on Long Island. You know, yeah. the Yankees, Mets. Of course, and I feel like uh, one of the reasons why I think uh, the movie is uh, really accessible is because a large point of it is that sort of, you know, uh, two guys who despite what's happening in their lives, kind of finding friendship and bonding over America's pastime, over this thing that pretty much every American, not just New Yorker, every American kind of has, you know, every, at one point in everybody's lives, baseball was really important, even if it was just when they were a kid, Little League or that kind of stuff. So it's, all, it's sort of about how being on the field um, kind of brings you kind of back to basics and strips away kind of all the excess stuff and, and uh, yeah I feel like it, it speaks to people who e even aren't baseball fans. Yes I, I mean I suppose it becomes a coming of age without even really trying because it is an American pastime from the time you're little you know you go to the ball games you sing the song take me out to the ball game and then seeing a movie about it definitely I think you know pulls at the heartstrings of a lot of Americans so sure, it's yeah. definitely innovative. It, it was fun shooting it too because all the cast who's in it um, you know, a bunch of 30 and 40 somethings actors out in LA who haven't been on a baseball field. Everybody who was in it at one point played baseball when they were a kid. And when you get a bunch of grown men who haven't been on a baseball field in 20 plus years out on a field. Excitement. Yeah. Um, I broke my collarbone, separated my shoulder, um, just goofing around off camera. Um, yeah, everybody was like a child again. The second we got out there, people were constantly hitting around. It took us forever to shoot it because everybody was too busy throwing balls around. <laughs> So did you take pieces of your own childhood then and brought this into the film that you're currently showing um, here? Not my childhood, but, uh, but uh, my adult life. Actually, um, I'm very extremely fortunate that my co-star was my best friend, Tony Wayne. He allowed me to pull some things from his life to use for his character. He's my co-star in it. And then I pulled some stuff from my own life um, uh, towards my character. It isn't necessarily a true story by any means, but just those little inspirations of those things that kind of allow us to maybe drop into the roles a little bit easier when there are things that we're familiar with, when there are emotions that we've struggled with ourselves, especially when you're making a movie for two and a half years, being able to fall back into something without, you know, 